China is building the world's largest hydropower project. The installed capacity is nearly three times that of the Three Gorges project. Why is India trying its best to resist it? In this video, let us learn more about it. China is planning to build the world's largest hydroelectric power station in Tibet, with a capacity three times that of the Three Gorges power station. The annual power generation is expected to be equivalent to the annual electricity consumption of the entire city of Beijing. This is the Motua hydropower project. However, before Chinese engineers had time to put this plan into practice, India had already learned of this and publicly expressed its dissent. That being the case, why did India respond to this in such a big way? How will China's construction of hydropower projects affect these countries? With India blocking it, can the Mexico hydropower station be completed as planned? Tibet, China, is rich in water energy resources and is known as the Asian Cooling Tower. The advantages of developing and designing hydropower projects are unparalleled. Data show that the total developable design output of China's water energy resources is 678 million kilowatt hours, of which Tibet's water energy resource reserves are around 200 million kilowatts, accounting for 30% of the world's total. And Tibet's hydropower resources are mainly reflected in the main stream of the Brahmaputra River. The total length of the Brahmaputra River is 2,941 kilometers, and the river section crosses three countries. The Chinese area is 2,057 kilometers long. The Brahmaputra River flowing into India is 644 kilometers long. The Bangladesh section is called the Jamuna River with a total length of about 240 kilometers. China is not only the birthplace of rivers, but also has a large share of them. Over the years, China has continued to increase investment in infrastructure in the Brahmaputra River section of Tibet, including bridges, tunnels, large hydropower stations, etc. The most important thing here is the Motua hydropower station. The construction of the Motua hydropower station is an important part of China's long-term power planning. The main battlefield for hydropower development in China has slowly shifted from the central and northern parts to the southwest, which is the area where the Jinsha River, Lansung River, the upper and lower reaches of the New River and the middle and upper reaches of the Yarlung Zhangbo River are located and launched the strategically located Tibet Electricity Takeaway project. The average annual water output of the Brahmaputra River reaches 16.54 million cubic meters, which is more than twice the annual flow of the Yellow River. In particular, the Big Bend area downstream is the leader in water accumulation in the world. Data shows that there are still 700 billion kilowatts of resources that can be optimally allocated here, and within a distance of tens of kilometers, there will be an ups and downs of more than 2,000 meters, making it an excellent area for blocking rivers and building dams. The Motua hydropower station is located in the Big Bend Canyon section. The Chinese construction team plans to use the straight section of the river to build a 35 kilometers long super-large tunnel diversion channel and then build six large-scale hydropower stations along the Shirong curved valley. Each power plant has an installed capacity of 100 billion kilowatts with a height of nearly 400 meters. The ups and downs reach 2,350 meters. The final total installed capacity of the Motua hydropower station can reach 600 billion kilowatts, with a power generation capacity of 300 billion kilowatt hours. 
China's largest Three Gorges hydropower station has an installed capacity of only 225 billion kilowatts and a power generation capacity of more than 100 billion kilowatt hours per year. It can be said that the power generation capacity of the Motua hydropower station is three times that of the Three Gorges hydropower station and will surpass the Great Inga hydropower station. 440 billion kilowatts in the Congo River in Africa to become the world's largest hydropower station. The Motua hydropower station has special significance for China's water conservancy projects and the eight horizontal and eight vertical projects. In addition to huge economic benefits, it also has the effect of controlling the flow of the Brahmaputra River and helping other areas adjust floods. Many people believe that China will soon start construction of this huge hydropower plant, but until today, it has not announced the start of construction. In addition to the early exploration and evaluation stage of the project, the Water Conservancy project does have major problems in many aspects. The first is the complex geological structure of the location where the project is located. The Three Gorges project took 15 years from its inception in 1994 to its completion in 2009. The amount of cast-in-place concrete alone reached 28 million cubic meters, and 593,000 tons of construction steel were used. Although the geological structure of the Three Gorges project is complex, the area where it is located belongs to relatively stable land. The geological structure of the Motua hydropower station on the Tibetan plateau is more complex. This is the area with the highest seismic fortification intensity in China, and the core cracking intensity has increased to 12 degrees. The geological structure rises by 10 millimeters every year and disasters such as earthquakes, landslides, and landslides occur frequently. There is still a lot of variability and the Yajiang River is an alpine canyon type river with a maximum flow speed of 16 meters per second. The water flow mechanism is better and the hydrology and water conservancy risks are also higher. Secondly, the local natural ecological environment is fragile. A little careless construction can cause damage to the local natural environment. And after the construction of hydropower plants, very large water flows may further cause disasters. In this regard, the Three Gorges project has already had similar experiences and lessons. In recent years, we have also accumulated certain work experience in China in terms of ecological and environmental protection in Tibet. After the completion of the Zhangmu hydropower station project on the upper reaches of the Yarlung Zhangbo River, China opened a green channel specifically for the migration and breeding of fish species. Ecological protection facilities such as fish breeding stations, solar thermal power generation systems, sewage treatment stations, and garbage disposal sites have also been set up along the coast to effectively control the ecological environment. Third, the investment in the Motua hydropower station project is huge. As the hydropower station with the largest user base in the world, its basic investment cost is 600 billion. And this is already a static investment. After the construction starts, as the project progresses, the capital investment will also increase. In particular, the distance between Tibet and power load centers such as the Pearl River Delta is nearly 2,000 kilometers, and the cost of power transmission and distribution equipment is huge. It is estimated that the total investment in dynamic projects may reach one trillion. This is a large amount. Even if China has extremely strong comprehensive national strength at this stage, it will take some time to raise such a large amount of assets.
Fourth, the transportation in the city where the Matua hydropower station is located is inconvenient. And building roads here is not only very expensive, but also difficult to maintain. Matua is the last county in China to open a highway. More than 2 billion yuan has been invested in the only Matua highway. It took decades to finally reach the standard of opening to traffic, and there is no way to ensure that it is open to traffic. The entire line is open to traffic throughout the year. Therefore, we must build the Matua hydropower station and deal with the traffic situation first. At this stage, China has made every effort to promote the development of transportation in Tibet, and the Sichuan-Tibet railway under construction is expected to be open to traffic in 2026. Just a few days ago, the main body of the pavement hardening project of the Paima Highway, which was selected as China's most beautiful highway by National Geographic magazine, was completed. This means that the Paima Highway will be open to traffic after eight years of repair. There is also a road from Chayu to Matua which is under intense construction. In a few years, the traffic conditions in Matua will be completely improved, logistics costs will drop significantly, and the best incubation period for the construction of the Matua hydropower station may come. Fifth, the middle and lower reaches of the country are strongly opposed. As the origin of the Brahmaputra River, China has a legitimate right to develop hydropower. It was originally beyond reproach, but it has led to strong opposition from neighboring country India. They claim that the construction of the Matua hydropower station may cause interruption of water flow in the middle and lower reaches and destroy their green ecology. Regarding this matter, China has long determined that the Matua hydropower station is a runoff hydropower project that cannot store water, intercept water, and irrigate it, destroying the green ecology of the middle and lower reaches. And on the contrary, India can gain many benefits from China building water storage dams upstream and downstream. First, it can cut peaks and delay floods early, which has a certain effect on alleviating frequent droughts and floods in Assam, India. The second is that it can block fine sand, maintain the storage capacity of the middle and lower reaches of the Water Conservancy Project and extend the operating life of the Water Conservancy Project. Every hydropower station built has faced many problems. However, with the joint efforts of Chinese engineers, hydropower stations have been built one after another, providing a continuous supply of electricity to China. There will definitely be more problems faced during the construction of the Matua hydropower station. In the 14th Five Years Plan, formulated by China in October 2020 and the recommendations for the 2035 Long-Term Goals, a plan to implement hydropower development in the lower reaches of the Brahmaputra River was clearly proposed. For the hydropower industry, this is a historic opportunity. Therefore, the construction of the hydropower station will start sooner or later. We believe that in the near future, China will definitely build the Matua hydropower station, and China's hydropower industry will move towards a brilliant future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.